Well, I sampled all of it, and um, I'm happy to say that most of it responded very well. Now, there was a couple pieces here that I don't think were affected at all by the heating. So if you recognize this stone, uh, you know that 425 degrees is not going to affect it very much. I was able to take off a large flake, but it still looks rough. Uh, I'm not sure how this snapped before, but uh, I don't think it changed very much. This flake broke up. This is the other one that didn't respond. If you recognize it. It's kind of a grayish, tannish color. Still very rough, not glossy at all. But the others that uh, Pestleman sent me uh, responded very well. Now another friend of mine named Richard sent me some agate at about the same time. So if you see it mixed in here, uh, sorry about that, I, I really uh, got to apologize because I don't know where I put the agate that Richard sent me. Um, so let's see, let's go to the next well, let's look at some of these colors from the stone that Pestleman sent me. This darker stone is very interesting and it responded very well. You can see it's glossy here. This should make some very nice points. The same with this, this darker stone. This almost looks like uh, uh, Horse Creek. I think that's what they call it. Responded well. This one you can hopefully you can see the glossy portion that I chipped off here. This responded well. Um, very little change I think though on this one. This probably already napped fairly well. I didn't try any of these before I heat treated. This one looks like it dramatically changed from a really tough chert to a nice glossy material. Not much change in color, but the, it looks very glossy now. This light colored material responded very well. And this, this will make some very nice points. All the, all the light colored material responded very well. See where I chipped it right there. Not much change in color, but it's very glassy. This one, you can hopefully see the gloss on this area that I chipped right there. That'll make some really nice points. This one here, the new area I chipped off is here, under my thumb. It's more glossy than the other area. Chips fairly easily. This one here, another dark piece. I'm concerned about this one because it has a lot of internal cracks. So I may not be able to get very much out of it, but it naps really well after the heat treatment. This one also has some internal cracks and some pockets of uh, rough material. I might be able to get a point or two out of that one. This one wor worked really well. This one here looks like some of the local stuff we have. But it responded okay. It, it did get glassy. Uh, it may have internal cracks, so I'm not sure if I'll get many out of this one. And this one responded very well, if you recognize it. Very, very well. This is the spot I chipped off. It didn't take much at all to get that piece off. Very much like glass. And uh, all of the uh, 
stone that Benjamin sent me responded very, very well. So it's up there with the highest grade stuff that I've got. I didn't put much force at all into that strike. Not too glossy, but it makes extremely well. I mean, it doesn't have to be glossy, but uh, it might make it a little nicer. This one looks very glossy but all of it responded very very well it's a stone from Mexico at 425 degrees for eight hours and let cool down slowly for 24 hours all this material responded very very well and the deer lease material was surprisingly good also that's going to be fun making some points out of that I think one of these was already in the shape of a core an expended core and uh, it did respond somewhat I, I think to the heat treatment but not much but at least it didn't crack and break and fire pop same with this one Probably not much change, but easy to flake. So there you go. Very successful, I think, for this heat treating experiment. Thanks, guys.